Hello everyone, this is Dr. Palacios and I'm here to continue with part two about this long topic of back pain. Long and complex. So we're gonna go over the conventional treatments. So say you have been diagnosed with low back pain. Now what is your conventional doctor going to do? Uh, more likely, most likely, he might give you a prescription of type of drugs especially if you already tried some at home uh, he could give you down the list of the following medications so the first one this one are called analgesics which means pain decreasing and the first one could be acetaminophen and that's your basic Tylenol or in other countries is known as paracetamol uh, he you may be taking this already, but your doctor could tell you, you know, you could increase the dose up to a certain range because there is a way to increase the dosage without becoming toxic. But again, something that your doctor has to recommend specifically for you. Uh, another group of medications are NSAIDs, which stands for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. And those are your diclofenac, naproxen, and then a lot of other more. Uh, and that you know it could, it's more prescription based so it could help in some some case uh, also opioids it's something that is not being done much nowadays because of the epidemic that we're facing in especially in the in modern society that doctors are pres over prescribing opioids for pain in general because it works however it creates dependency and that can lead itself into another problem in the future and then you have corticosteroid injections which is more serious where the doctor will go as you see the picture on the bottom and inject of where is the specific area of pain and damage and the steroid shot will reduce and narrow that piece of inflammation and hopefully help with the pain uh, some doctors could do help you do basic exercises and stretching but not with acute pain or he may send you to a physical therapist to get more out of you know to get more individualized treatment and the last resource will be surgery which the, one of the surgeries is called a decompression type and that is where they're gonna go in they're gonna find try to unblock the nerves that are getting pinched and squeeze kind of like what we talked on the first part and that can help with the pain but just remember surgery is not without its risks and the recovery time also varies depending on your health your age and other factors that the doctor should be able to tell you